hello, hello, hello. So, um, I'm going to keep going with these unboxings. I've been getting a lot of stuff lately. Credit cards aren't really, uh, loving that. But anyway, uh, I'm picking up some really cool stuff, mainly with Funkos and some of the other horror boxes and such. Uh, first off, I'd like to give a shout out to Crypto Curium. Um, this company, I want to say, I'm trying to think of his name because I know, I think it's a Heimer is the one that does the art for it. But they do what's called the Parcel of Terror. So this is basically every month you can do auto order through PayPal, which is super cool. And it makes it nice and easy because I now have everything on auto order except for a little box of horrors. But uh, that being said, you, the theme for this month was Ghostbusters. And Crypto Curium, it's all handmade. Everything that these guys produce is like a knock out of the park. Um... Home run. I have absolutely loved, uh, especially the, K uh, there was a chaos edition they did for the, uh, Jurassic Park when it came out and that T-Rex, uh, wall plaque was just absolutely epic. They do sell other stuff off their Etsy shop. So like I've got here, um, when he released these, I am a Lovecraft fan. Um, when I do read, I love reading horror. So this was super cool. You got the Miss Catonic University, and this came framed and everything. But uh, this is... I, I he, These were signed and numbered. This I was really, really happy. I mean, a, you pay a little more, especially for, like, magnets. And usually the box has, like, a magnet and then, like, a wall plaque. So, like, they've had past ones. Like, here would be uh, Sam from Trick or Treat. And, uh... But everyone's different, and as they've always said, it's always quality over quantity. And I know they mentioned that with a box a little while back. I believe it was the Predator box, which I know I've got that around here somewhere. I'm not as big a Predator fan as I could be on some of the others, but I just didn't cancel in time. But, uh, so this, this, the theme on this one was actually, uh, Ghostbusters. Anyway, so when you get your box... You get them. Um, I did kind of cut it open already so you can kind of see, but uh, they're always like super thin, but I I like these because you get a lot of bang for your buck and the quality on this stuff is really cool. So we'll start out with doing, as usual, you always get the business card. So if you want to check out their Etsy shop, let's get that in there. You got the Etsy shop and they've got a Facebook I believe he just did a Jaws edition, like an oversized magnet, which I did order that. So I know that that will eventually be coming. And I picked up the, uh, Thulu, I think it was a Thulu idol that he, that he had, uh, posted up a little while back. They did a limited edition on those. He does also have a thing called Order the Thin Veil. Um, considering joining that one, just gotta figure out the financials for that because I believe it does run, I think a couple hundred for the whole year, but you get like three massive like packages with it so anyway let's get to it uh crypto Kirim ectoplasm edition uh we'll start off with i won't go through all all of this reading because i don't want to bog down the video but uh we, let's start with the creme de la creme in here we've got these wall plaques are huge um this is the same size as the predator one anyway this is literally the size of my hand so we've got the marshmallow dude from Ghostbusters. And this, my mom is also a huge Ghostbusters fan, so she's not stealing this from me. But I love the detail he puts in here because you even have, like, the demon dogs on the top. I can't remember what they were called from the movie. It's been a little while since I've seen it, but you actually have the demon dogs on top of him. And he's just basically looming over the city. Now, this goes back to that whole quality over quantity thing because this is a huge item. Um, and I am totally fine with that. I like the quality over quantity theory because, you know, you get boxes like Loot Crate, which yes, I see the value in Loot Crate to a certain degree, but you know that it's small trinkety things for the most part. Um, unless you don't like the DX box and even then you don't always get the awesome stuff in there. So that being said, um, this is a massive, massive win and that's it. It's McKittrick on the the guy who runs this I, jason i get him and jay mixed up because jay is the one that does fright crate but uh jason McC 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 
And the super cool thing about this is that next month, ironically, is actually Lovecraft for the theme. So I've got zero complaints on that because, once again, Lovecraft fan. Um, of course, he always throws in the extra stuff. There is, of course, some candy here, but, you know, Heat likes to blow stuff up. So we'll take a look at that. And I love the fact that there's the little throw-ins that just add the quality to it. It's a marshmallow, of course, for the... goes along with the Marshmallow Man. Um, you got a sticker here. Uh, no ghost logo sticker. So, you know, you can never have enough, uh, Ghostbuster stickers, of course. And this is what I was kind of, I'm not sh I didn't know, remember exactly what part this was from, but this is by artist Brandon Zimmerman. Uh... It says, Brandon Zimmerman brings us this depiction of Gozer. Okay, so it's it's definitely, um, it's cool. But this is supposed to be Gozer in the form of the Traveler when he appears on the roof of Dana Barrett's apartment. So, uh, yeah, so this is cool. He always does, like, he partners up with, like, uh, some of these other artists and stuff. So there's always usually, like, a small print in here, which is cool. Uh, I definitely like getting the prints along with, um his work and I know I've got some other stuff here somewhere but I have to dig it out there's a lot of stuff actually in this room at the moment that I have to go through uh still getting it updated in fact I just got the mask that I purchased from Daryl I finally got him up there with my signed uh Dreyfus shark so that was kind of a fun one to add up there but uh anyway I you know I definitely love Parcel of Terror, it's definitely one I'll be continuing. As a company, I feel they pump out a lot of really, really awesome stuff. Their magnets are spot on. I uh, got the Beetlejuice one over here, too. So this was a past box, but you can't beat the quality. And I've got all my other stuff up in my actual bedroom because I have Fluffy from Creepshow, which Creepshow is one of my favorite uh, King movies growing up. Like that last, uh, I think it's the third story in Creepshow. Anyway, uh, I actually have the fluffy plaque that they were selling on the Etsy shop. So, uh, yeah, if you are interested, I will throw up, I'll find the link to his Etsy shop and I'll toss that in there. But you can do auto subscribe for Partial Terror, which is, makes it super easy. And you can skip for the month if you want. But he also has a lot of cool, like, deals that he throws up, like the Jacklings and, um, Order the Thin Veil, that kind of deal. So, Definitely check him out. Uh, Jason McKittrick's work is, it's, it really is awesome. I mean, the detail that goes into the magnets, the pins, uh, the wall plaques, everything he does, it's actually, it's pretty darn cool. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Bye.